We've rerouted him. He was gonna go through uh, Ortonville. I'm not sure how high that bridge is, but there goes the last uh, video of the 4640. Good thing Dad ain't here, he'll be crying. <laughs> So today's the day, huh? Today's the day. She's she got up nice and early. Yeah. Look at you were wondering why I'm dressed up. Well, we're in a crunch time. Time crunch? Dentist appointments, 10 o'clock. Tractor's leaving. 8 30, 9 o'clock. Half hour drive to the dentist. It's not gonna be good. No. The guy's running late, so he might be loading a tractor by himself. Him yeah. and Eric. But she's going to Kansas, right? Something about north of Kansas City, I believe, one hour. Oh. So I don't know. I it's going to be them. a long haul. <laughs> I asked them, is uh, there are no other 4640s for sale closer to Kansas? He wanted this one, so. I Did you show him the other one? No. This is, this is somewhat very disappointing and disappointing. It's embarrassing and humbling and he asked us, front end ever give trouble? No, never ever had any trouble. Dad snuck it out to this do a little. This is sold also. Yeah, the old 4230. Dad sneaks it out to do a 15 minute snow removal job. I get to the farm. I see this oil streak. Huh? We got front end trouble. So, <sighs> it's getting fixed but it's now, was supposed to be picked up last Tuesday. It is now been a week and uh waiting for parts but hopefully today it gets fixed up and they yeah. can come get this one too this one's going to iowa but i think we should recap on what the career of this tractor was the farm what was the 4640 to you when you first got it yeah, it was main horsepower and uh, i believe uh, the 7040 alice chalmers tractor was traded in on this so for those of you that know, you know, 7040 to this, in my opinion, it was a major upgrade. <laughs> major upgrade. So, and now it's leaving. How many years did we use it? I don't know. What was its job role first? Uh, it was chisel plow, digger. And then it got to do the sprayer at the end of its thing. And grain carded. Grain carded grain a carded. little bit. Not too much. Well, Stock couple chopper. Years. Yeah. Um, did it all the last few years it's basically just been sitting Yard in the tractor. shed move some equipment around might do some disking um, really something that wasn't needed but it's one of the rare things around here that's paid for and <laughs> that I could still fix on yeah no well we couldn't mm. fix the starter we put a new starter on last summer but that takes a special special, special wrench, wrench so yeah well we had to have brother-in-law come out and put that on because and there was another wire it. that went up to the hydraulic yeah, front wheel assist or no it went up to the hydraulic pump and i'm sure you guys remember that too but that it drained the battery so <laughs> It was a disappointing experience. That was also. the little bit that you tried to work on it. Right. You screwed the wiring up. Maybe it's best it leaves. I can't work on this neither. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> so, yeah, she's uh, going to, from our understanding, going to be a ditch mowing tractor. She's going to mow ditches with it, which will work out good for him because I told him that the narrow tires don't run down as much grass. So, yeah, it'll work good for him. Should we do one last start with it? Cold start? Yeah. I got it. I got to get it out on Snapchat. <laughs> so it is kind of a sad day, but in the long and the short of it, it's going to be a wise decision to remove some engines from the farm, less maintenance, less cost, obviously. Uh, tractors that sit around are like vehicles that sit around. They, uh, you 
eventually you're just going to have more maintenance and more trouble. It's worse to have stuff sit than to use it every day. Maybe you can retire your earplugs now. The 7330 has a lot quieter cab than this well, that is here very unit. True. And it's got a lot bigger door to get in and out of. I always did struggle getting out of there. My plier is hooking, my flashlight, you name it. Now, now my that biggest. You're getting older and crippled up, it's even worse. I should have never ever walked out of that cab. I should have backed down. <laughs> so, my big fear? You don't think. You don't think it's gonna tip over without duels, do you? Boy, she is scary. narrow. Looks really small without duels on there. I wish I could have sold that boom with it. I think that should have been a pair. It's all set up. Too late, she's gone, paid for. You want to get the kitties? Go get the kitties. Go get them. So, are you going to church, or why do you dress up to go to the dentist? You know, they just throw spit around and what? sometimes blood. This may be, <laughs> if you didn't notice, this is a brand new vest. So it may just be that, oh, we got no water. Uh, this might be my new vest for life. One of the last ones I ever have. I believe it is also some sort of uh, waterproof type of deal. And uh, it could be my bib for the nursing home. <laughs> wow. Clear the way. Come on, Martin. Are we gonna be able to get through here? I don't know if you noticed, but I did clean up this area quite a bit. Reorganized, moved a bunch of 55 gallon drums up there out of the way that we no longer use and put a big tote here for our oil filters and cleaned up this whole area through fall and uh, really all summer long stuff just kind of gets piled around the shop because there's more important things to do. But then you come to the winter time and it's like, ah, there's no space and there's no uh, no clean areas in here so then it's like the whole winter long project to tackle areas in the shop to clean. So they're almost here to pick that up and then we will quit pacing the shop waiting let's, and then we'll actually have to work. Let's get Doug's 99 over here and see if that part fell off of it yesterday. Yeah we were out coyote hunting we found some parts on the road but we're not sure if it was from one of our vehicles or his vehicle or but uh, somewhat but a clean break. Yeah, it was a clean break. Whoever's vehicle that was is missing, got some fixing to missing do. Missing something. <laughs> you're going to the dentist and you're going to drink Mellow Yellow before you get there. Well, you can't have it after you've been there. Imagine, imagine what that would taste like after they put that fluoride on and all that stuff. I hope you pay that poor dentist well. <sighs> Man, that bite's so good. <clears throat> Well, I predict Sioux Falls and then the uh, Ford's tranny drops. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, they'll be unloading the 46 to pull it the rest of the way to Kansas. That would be expected. <laughs> well, there she goes. 13 and a half feet tall. 13 and a quarter. He'll be fine. It's a little high for my liking, but we've rerouted him. He was going to go through uh, Ortonville. I'm not sure how high that bridge is, but you there's a find, lot of, you don't want to find out. A lot of farm equipment gets hung up under that bridge. Yeah. So we said do not go that way. Yeah. Rerouted. So there goes the last uh, video of the 4640. Good thing Dad ain't here. He'll be crying. <laughs> so Eric and I decided when it was so 
nice outside loading that tractor up but today is the day that we're cleaning we're cleaning house scrap irons leaving we're loading it up on the dump truck I doubt we'll get that hauled to uh, Glenwood today but we're gonna start the process we got a big pile outside it's so nice we're gonna do that we're gonna start in the shop our miscellaneous scrap iron buckets our tote that's overfilling of scrap iron we're gonna get it up on the truck dump it in and get a nice load of scrap iron get it out of here I think they're paying like 170 bucks a ton for scrap iron you'll never make a ton of money but it, it's something and it gets it out of here and then we can eliminate the uh, 15 buckets that lay around the shop full of scrap iron also it's gonna be good <laughs> the g-dunk it's also kind of fun because you get to relive all the the breakdowns <laughs> the bad days just wash yourself free of the trouble and the stress i'm overdressed yeah i told you massively I'm that overdressed on. It, well i wanted to get it back up to my size because it shrunk down a little bit <laughs> So the problem to get to our junk here, it's really packed in here. So we gotta move a, a trailer there and maybe this conveyor out of here so that we can clean some snow and uh, get out our 55 gallon drums here. This is what we used to use, 55 gallon drums, used oil drums. And then they were just way too small. We were filling them like once a month, so. Remember that little uh, little golden retriever this fall? Here he is, Rip. Rip, what's up, buddy? You grew a lot. He's uh, really rambunctious. This is Ray. This is Eric's dog. I think we've shown you her before. So they're here for a play date. Rip's got a lot of energy. So I suspected this to be an issue. They're sitting on the gravel, so they're frozen the ground. So we're gonna try a log chain to get it off. All of you sitting at home thinking, why don't they just throw that whole metal thing in the truck and be done with it? That's that's what I'm thinking. That's too. what we're thinking. But Dougal wants those for burn barrels and yep, yep. And uh, you know I was arm Good wrestling shot. a guy the other night, and I think I tore something in my elbow. So so now it's just aching so bad. God, look at that. So. <laughs> Did they, uh, did you win? I did actually, because his shoulder muscles were starting to rip. Was he awake? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so I believe this trailer doesn't have parking brakes, but I doubt that Bob here is gonna move it. No go, we're gonna need a payloader. Maybe froze down too. Come on, Bob. With, uh, payloader. All right, 
right, we gotta get this trailer out so we can get at more, more junk. Sucky part about this is now the wind has come up and the nice day is gone. But you gotta kinda come up in here as you load it and rearrange so that it's not so bulky. Maybe it wouldn't matter to make multiple trips if you don't feel only going 20, 30 miles, but this is like an hour and a half long drive, so you don't wanna be doing doing that too many times. So you come up in here to risk your shins and ankles to save some gas mileage and trips. Got that leveled off pretty good. Got that trailer hauled out of here. And uh, now he's gonna clean some snow here and we're gonna get some more junk out of here. Guess who's driving? It's Duggo! Duggo's back. So here's where the real work comes. This was an old flare box. And our theory was when the flare box got full, we fork, it's got no running gear under it. We'd forklift it onto a flatbed snowmobile trailer or whatever, haul it down there, have them magnet it out. Well, as you can see, that got neglected. It's way over heaping full. So I'm afraid it might be a hand unload job unless we can get the Bobcat and the big grapple. Yeah, now we can get that MDS grapple out and grab that. Yeah, I like that idea. Hopefully that'll work out. We got one more barrel here, a few more there to do. And a couple over here, it looks like. Speaking of stuff that should be ripped down, used to keep our old dryer inside here back in the 90s. And uh, it's called the dryer shed. It's basically just a junk hole shed now. amazing beast the dogs are liking the snow pile it's, it's like king of the king of the hill look out dog we're getting more room for storing snow here So unfortunately we didn't get to show this. This is an MDS Iron Eagle grapple and bucket. Um, we got it for tree, tree uh, demolition. Never got to do anything with it last season. I was really disappointed because it's a really nice bucket, heavy duty. Hopefully we can get it in there and uh, crush and destroy some stuff. That'll be fun. inside to get our tote out of here. I think we're gonna rat or uh, come along and onto the bucket and then just dump it out in there. Hopefully it'll work pretty well.
so the skid loader doesn't uh, raise it high enough so we're gonna get the payloader out here try dump it into the payloader so we don't have to hand unload that whole tow look at these two Toby's the leader everyone else just follows lightened up enough where they they pulled out the white liner and just dumped it in I remember that project do you all right that can go back into its resting place well trucks just about full so we're about done here for the day of loading scrap we got her all uh, loaded up in the shop we're gonna let the uh, snow melt out of there I'm sure they don't like buying snow we probably get yelled at so be worth it. We maybe do it with corn. <laughs> Put when snow we, in there? When we haul corn, yeah, they'll never know. <laughs> oh. So, we got this in here also because we dumped all them 55-gallon uh, drums and that tote that was full of nails in the bucket while the nails attach themselves to the snow. So, we gotta let that melt, get the magnet, get them out of there. Did Doug go get that cleaned up in there? I don't know. Is that his goal? I think so. Well, I think that is going to be the end of the video, guys. Appreciate you watching and uh, hope to see you in the next one.